Underwater can be the most frustrating course theme for level creators. Today, I'm going to show you eight fun and unique level ideas that will help you feel ready to conquer it. Let's get started. Luigi decides to go for a nice swim to relax. Suddenly, hordes of angry wigglers defend their home from this intruder. In this course, Luigi must survive an underwater speedrun that requires quick and precise movements. Angry Wigglers are a perfect choice for this idea because they can move through all terrain and they hone in on Luigi. If he's one millisecond too slow, Luigi will become Angry Worm Food. We use conveyor belts to keep Luigi just in front of the Angry Horde. Coins and arrows show Luigi exactly where to go to escape, but staying ahead of his foes is the hard part. Each room starts with over a dozen Wigglers chasing Luigi, and even more that are launched towards him through bill blasters and pipes. The Wigglers line the ceiling and floor with painful sea urchins to poke our friend. Luckily, Luigi's swimming lessons paid off to help him escape. Luigi the scientist has been experimenting with combining porcupuffers and fire. He discovers that these spiky fish explode when given too much fire to eat. In this idea, we need to harness the explosions of porcupuffers to complete each puzzle. The objective of this course is to make the porcupuffer explode in the exact right place to destroy a red pow block. The red pow creates a chain reaction that will remove the blocks preventing Luigi from moving forward. The setup has Luigi launch fireballs through a clear pipe. He will need to feed the porcupuffer four fireballs before it will explode. If Luigi goes through the clear pipe, an angry thwomp will destroy him by activating an exclamation block. If Luigi doesn't destroy the porcupuffer in the right location, he needs to go through the pipe to reset the room. Each room has various challenges to make exploding the porcupuffer more difficult. Cloud platforms can move the fireballs out of the way, gaps in the floor can drop the fireballs, and piranha plants require additional hits. Do you like underwater levels? Post yes or no in the comments below. Mario wants to join in on the underwater fun for this next idea. He explores an underwater cave and sees strange spiky orbs collecting beside him. All of a sudden, the wall explodes next to him and the red spheres start flooding towards him. Mario has no choice but to swim away quickly and avoid pointy obstacles. To make this idea work, we use spiny shells that drop quickly out of nine red pipes at the beginning of the level. When placed in water, these shells turn from normal creatures that walk around to spherical floating objects. We use custom auto scroll that speeds up as the level progresses to push Mario in the correct direction. The 100 second timer also helps to build a feeling of urgency for Mario. We need to add contraptions to help move the armada of spiny orbs in the correct direction and at the right speed. A platform on a track helps move the spinies upward, Munchers on tracks keep the momentum moving left or right, and falling munchers make them drop. A bill blaster on a conveyor belt increases their speed as we reach the ending of this course. Mario wears the shell of his enemy as a trophy of honor for escaping this nightmare. Luigi is diving for ancient treasure left behind from a shipwreck. He stumbles all the way into the depths where the darkness and jellyfish live in harmony. In this course, we use the underwater night theme to create a dark level with few spotlights. In the Super Mario Bros. 3 style, the spike traps turn into cute but lethal jellyfish. Luigi will have to use the POW block lantern throughout this course to light his passage. Holding an item while underwater actually makes swimming so much easier. The biggest issue with underwater levels is the amount of button mashing needed just to stay afloat but the POW block here helps minimize the mashing required. Now Luigi can float around very carefully to collect his pink coin treasure. He'll need to walk carefully on the semi-solid above these jellyfish, swim swiftly by these munchers, and patiently float into alcoves of toxic creatures. Once he gets all five pieces of treasure, he needs to use his POW lantern to destroy the munchers and go through the locked door. Be sure to show the creators of these courses some love by checking out the codes in the description below. 
A porky puffer escaped from Luigi's lab and is now seeking vengeance. He has set up fatal traps for our friend Luigi. The 3D world style has blinking blocks that switch between red and blue at a set interval of time. Luigi will have to swim carefully to make it through the blinking blocks. Although this concept is easy, the angry porky puffer chases him the entire time and can move through the terrain that will stop Luigi. He'll have to get close enough to make the porky puffer try to gobble him up, but not so close that he becomes a tasty snack. Doing this maneuver will buy Luigi precious time to get through these challenges. In the next section, Luigi must gather red coins from all four corners of the room before he can escape through the key door. If he's not careful, he will trap himself in a corner and be eaten immediately. He'll have to use his Porky Puffer knowledge to bait the fish away and carefully collect the coins to escape. Luigi's tired of things trying to eat him, so he goes to a much calmer ocean instead. This area has open space to swim and floating seaweed. To make the seaweed, we use pokies on tracks above the view of the player. If we keep the pokey heads from being seen, the result is an interesting looking water plant that is moving with the waves. To make variations on this idea, we can adjust the motion of the pokies. Circular tracks will create a different movement pattern for the seaweed. If we add wings to our seaweed, it will move much quicker. We can fill a bonus room with dropping seaweed, but stagger them to let Luigi have a chance to make it through. Using the pokey seaweed is great for optional challenges or main areas that need a fire flower to progress. If you've seen anything new in this video, be sure to hit that like button. Luigi's motto is, the best underwater level is the one you don't have to play. In this course, Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. To make this course, we choose the 3D World style for its diverse variety of sea life. Start with a school of hungry cheap cheeps and porky puffers to add a sense of danger. These fish will try to devour Luigi as he relaxes. Dash blocks are useful in this level to keep Luigi just ahead of the danger. Trampolines, thwomps, and twisters can help alter his trajectory as well. This course utilizes the Koopa car underwater. The Koopa car actually moves differently between underwater and on ground. The acceleration is a bit slower, the top speed is a bit slower, but it can actually jump one tile higher. A snake block is a great touch to add because it can move throughout the level and show up right when we need it to. Great auto levels create suspense and uncertainty, even though we know Luigi's gonna make it through. Luigi wants to escape these cold waters and find some warmth. He finds a shallow lagoon where he can feel the sun. He doesn't realize that the sun is so hot there that it can melt all the ice. In this course, the angry sun follows Luigi wherever he goes. This soggy sun can be an ally at times by opening the pathway forward or an enemy at times by trying to scorch him. We can create challenges where Luigi must dodge enemies and the angry sun until it opens up blocked areas to get key coins. The sun opens up pipes that allow enemies like bloopers to pop out and chase Luigi. It can also grant Luigi access to his own firepower, which he can use to destroy pokies and melt ice blocks himself. Having the angry sun underwater may seem strange, but lesser used mechanics make for unique and interesting courses. Click on the video on the screen right now to see 10 level ideas that most people don't know about. If you were inspired by any of these ideas, please subscribe and click the bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.